Hey YouTube, Orbisite. Um, today I'm going to be doing a repair video for the iPod Touch. This is the iPod Touch second generation. Um, my audio jack went out, which I know is a common problem with a lot of iPods. Um, I actually already tried to repair this, and the audio jack I already resoldered in was faulty, so I, I got a replacement. Um, this is what the audio jack looks like, ripped apart. Um, without the ribbon. I'll provide some pictures because I know my camera's record quality is kind of shitty. So, And this is going to be the replacement that I'm going to be putting in. I got it off eBay. Yeah. So, put that over there. So the first thing you need to do is you need to take out the two screws on top of the audio jack. So, take your screwdriver, unscrew them. Make sure you don't lose these. Uh, I'll just put them right there. Just plop them down. Alright, so there's going to be five soldering points. There's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Again, you're not going to be able to see this. So, but they're right on the side. So the easiest way I figured out how to do this was you're going to need a, a little blade. You're going to need a micro soldering iron. I suppose you could do this with a regular soldering iron, but it's going to be pain in the ass. So you're going to need a micro soldering iron. And you're going to have to melt each of these points. And at the same time, use your razor blade, get under the cable, and pull it up. But, you know, so, I'm actually, uh, this, this, uh, I don't have two, uh, four hands, so, I'm actually going to have to end up, uh, melting my glue bottle for some reason. Going to have to, um, put it, like, on my knee and solder it, because I don't have four hands, so, kind of sucks, but, you got to use what you have. Take off your soldering iron. And let's get ready to solder. Desolder. The last one's giving me a pain in the ass. Yeah, once you get down to the last one, just hold the audio jack, kind of pull on it, and the and then once you get it hot, it'll pop right out.
There we go. Old audio jacks out. Make sure that you have all the little pins that are on the cable. So, I have one, two, three, four, five pins that were, that were attached to the cable. So, they're not still on any of the soldering points. Clear any shit that you have in here. So, I got like a little chunk of solder here, so I'm going to clear that out. But first, I'm going to take a few pictures. Um, so that you guys can see what's going on. So, okay, so moving on, um, I said that I needed to remove some solder. So, I'm going to have to melt it. solder remover. So what you want to make sure is that all the little spacing in between all the points are completely clear. You can't have a little line of solder in there at all. You got to make sure they're entirely and completely clear. So they all look clear now, but to make sure, use a nifty, nifty magnifying glass. Yeah, they all look clear. Try to get all the soldering points as flat as you can, no like spikes or anything, so just kind of melt it down and leave it. So. Okay, now that I have my audio jack, um, you're going to have to put it in 